are famous, you know that? <laughs> no. You're I'm actually... Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't say that I interview uh, a lot of uh, circus performers yet because I just started like in, in uh, December. Uh, but I think you're the most uh, known uh, artist uh, in this podcast. How oh. many people did you interview? <laughs> uh, six. Ah, six. And oh, every okay. one of them knows you. So. Ah, <laughs> okay. and cool. Me. Yeah, so um, uh, this is cool. All right, yeah, I guess this is cool, yes. <laughs> What do you think about it? <laughs> how is it? How is it to wake up famous? <laughs> well, in the circus world, no, only. Y- so yeah. It's, I mean, it's pretty cool still. <laughs> it's a certain circle of famous. Mm-hmm. But it's nice. Yeah, and I've prepared some questions for you uh, to, to, not, to don't get lost. Okay. Uh, and the first question I have, it's uh, even I know that's not maybe not everyone knows. Uh, how old you were when you start your circus career? 14. 14? Yeah. We, we were 14 when we went to Canada to go to uh, Cirque du Soleil. 14. How was that? How does it actually happen? That, uh, how they do it? Maybe not everyone knows how du Soleil, like, they go to Eastern European countries and just pick beautiful girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't do that. <laughs> well, back then they Plus would... it was very different before, yeah. They would actually take kids in back then, back in the day, when they were a little bit more financially stable. And so they would find kids and they would teach them everything and invest a lot of time in yeah. training them. That was more of an investment because with kids, if you teach them, first of all, you can teach them the way they wanted to teach us, like shape us, if mm-hmm. you will. And then it's also maybe a longer run in terms of performing. So it's also some somewhat of an investment for them. Okay. Uh, so so they were looking for twins who do gymnastics or who do acrobatics, and they knew people on the show that we were supposed to. They, they were lo- looking for twins for this show called Saltin Banco, and so they asked this Ukrainian family there if they who's... could ga- if they could maybe help them and uh, direct them maybe to find no, it's because, in Ukraine. It's because the mother of the artist was actually in the Gymnastics Federation of Ukraine. Mm-hmm. So she actually knew who is doing gymnastics in Ukraine okay. because of the Federation. And so she said, she told them that there's actually two pair of twins. It was, it was us and another one who, they were younger than us. We were 14, they were 12, so they went for the older ones just because we were a bit older. So it was not a real competition. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. And mm. the audition was so, so easy. Like we had just had to film ourselves doing certain things in gymnastics and then have a little speech, a little talk. And that's it. But that was just really a special case because that's not usually how it's done. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's only because they really need twins and I guess they really were set on Ukraine. Yeah. Okay. Well, no, other Eastern European countries. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, don't, I, guess they, I, don't I guess know. they didn't have the connection to these... Uh, yeah. To these... Uh, I don't know. And uh, how does it feel? Like, did you actually decide it? It was like your decision? Did you understand? I mean, 14. I remember myself. The biggest decision I had to keep staying in a Bali school. It was, and and that was leave. the decision? Yeah. <laughs> it was a kind of a decision. And like... To be honest, that was not of a big decision from our side. Of course, it was mostly our parents' decision because we were still kids. The whole thing was really strange. You know, the, the, the coach approached our parents. They talked to us. We made this video. We didn't know what Cirque du Soleil was. We didn't know where, where Canada, Canada was. was. We didn't understand what was asked of us. We just filmed this and we thought, oh, okay, if we get it, then maybe we get to go... In a cir- to a circus in Canada, but who knows to do what and where Canada yeah. is. I mean, the word trapeze was somewhere in there, but we had no idea what it was. Mm-hmm. So it was like, okay. And so so we made this video and everything was fast. In about two weeks, they said, okay, they, they work, they fit. We do the visas, we buy the tickets. Everything started to move very, very quickly. I don't know, we weren't even thinking where it was all going. And suddenly we got the visa. And we were leaving. I think in like a month or two, we were gone. Oh my and god! And no one knew. 
And the, no our parents knew. didn't tell anyone that we're leaving. Like our school didn't know we're leaving. Gymnastics didn't know we're leaving. We were not supposed to tell gymnast gymnastics uh, because the federation would have asked us to pay them something, mm. like a compensation fee or something. So you so ran away. Was, yes, so everything was kept in secret. And so we left, we flew to Canada. Our grandmother didn't know Oof. we were leaving. Yeah. We, it was crazy. We went, we had our last competition in a different city. And from there we had our little bag with training clothes. We went to the airport. Yeah, so it, it was like all the secret thing. And uh, then, like you but but what you was thinking like okay now we'll we'll be for a while and then we'll come back or you were just like okay new adventure or whatever let's go definitely so. new adventure i don't think we were thinking about time like timeline we didn't know what was happening we knew we were gonna go there for eight months because that was, that was the training that the, the time that was mm -hmm. given to us for training but then after that theoretically we were supposed to go on tour to work okay after that so yeah, I mean, in terms of coming back, no. that was out of question. Uh, but definitely, it was extremely unknown. So it's hard to say exactly what we were thinking or feeling. It was just, just didn't know anything. Everything was new. It was the first time we we flew on a plane. It was the first time we were outside of Ukraine. It was the first time that we I don't know saw people from other countries. Everything was first time. So we were just. How was it for you? How you see this huge uh, place, the rehearsal place for, for Cirque du Soleil and then there is a lot of professional artists who is like older than you, more professional than you and every one of them like, hey, how they actually co connect with you, I your mean, kids and they're all I professional think adults. There's also this, the question of uh, language, of course, because we didn't speak any English. Um, so Avi had a, um, a translator with us at all times. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Everyone was older than us, right? We were kids, but everyone is there it, at Cirque du Soleil. When you arrive there for a formation, they already have many people there uh, training for different things, but they're, they're all 20 and older. This is the usual thing. Um, I think it made it easier for us that we were kids. Everything was just fun. Everyone was super nice to us. You know, they're supposed to take care of us. There are lots of rules how you have to deal with and treat the kids. And so... I, I, th I think we felt very cared for. Yeah. Very, very much. Yeah. But uh, it was also quite scary, definitely. Especially <laughs> especially once we actually started this uh, crazy amount of classes that Cirque du Soleil has uh, with lots of kind of strange things such as movement and acting and sound. Percussion, percussion and, voice. And clowning, which was extremely unnatural and... Um, how would I say intimidating for a child from Ukraine doing gymnastics because we were taught to be so 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 inhibited and so closed always and always scared of to do something wrong so um, and there they do tell you do completely opposites so that took us a while it was very difficult to for try us to beginning. relax and actually try open up. open up and try something that is not so controlling and so that was actually quite fearful how was that, that though like what did you do in the in the gymnastic what was your discipline artistic gymnastics so it's floors bars beam uh, vault it's this very very acrobatic uh, disciplined, mm -hmm. very military style type of training I was thinking a rhythmic gymnastics. No, no, we're no, not we're flexible. Not flexible. <laughs> we're not flexible. There will be no reason. Is. Yeah, because you know how the bar works, how this uh, rings works. You know that, right? Yeah. The, that's yeah. why they take you, maybe also. Because we were strong, and coordinated. Yeah. yeah, that's all they strong, needed. Strong, strong, coordinated. Uh, definitely, uh, it took them a while to get something artistic out of us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, uh, it was hard. For that us. was at some point actually a point where they thought maybe it's not working out um but no all ended well <laughs> yeah, they... all ended well you know we're successful <laughs> Cirque du Soleil performers <laughs> where we are now it took us a while but yeah i mean we learned i mean we continued learning even as we started working it's yeah. not like the formation in circus in it wasn't enough Cirque eight months was wasn't not enough for, for especially from our background it was not enough once we start performing and, and doing, trying stuff out, 
definitely more and more uh, gained more artistic presence and learning happened. But that is like non non-stop training, right? Like you, even if you are in the show, that you still may attend some classes or not? No, no. no. Once ah, you're you on tour, one, there's actually no classes. No more classes. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. You know everything. Yes. Yeah. You kind of just have to, to feed off the performing itself and try to learn from that. I mean, there's of course the artistic director who sometimes uh, tries to guide you in certain ways oh, and teach you stuff and maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. That you the, yeah, always, go, yeah. Like, a, because to some, anyway, like even like when you work in a six uh, month shows, sometimes they, they come and they say, oh, you guys, you know, you have to maybe go here more because you're like, yeah, exactly. Maybe, like more this kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And sure. uh, how was the first time when you go? Like, because, for example, I choose my discipline. It was my decision to yeah. become a cigar box juggler. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking and I was trying and I was trying something else and like nobody pushed me. What for else that. was an option? For me? Yes. Any area was an option because I was ah, a any... ballet dancer and ah. you know, I'm flexible and stuff. So everyone was like, hey, do, do this. I'm like, but no, I want to be a juggler and a clown. Ah. So there is not an option for me. But I mean, at least I had some like a physical option that yeah I could kind of do. But you were pushing for that, so you they just bring you for doing this swing trapeze up there like a, extremely high. For me, even when I launched you, I was like, no way, I I don't imagine myself even. And how was that for you? Like I, I mean, of course you did this bar thing, right? Yeah, we did yeah. bars. But um, it's still like how many meters up? Yeah, it's not that it's high. It's not that high. It's like. Three? Two. No, two? no. It's, it's not even three, I think. Yeah, I think it's two. Wait. Two meters. It's like Wait, two, maybe two, two and, and twenty. Two and something. Two and yeah. something. Yeah, it's true. Two and something. But not three. No. And uh, how many meters now you work? Six. Around six. Yeah. Double up. Yeah. Almost. Three. When we swing, the trapeze goes up to ten meters, right? So when we build the swing, so it's it's high. Uh, yeah, definitely it was a very scary moment when we arrived to Montreal and they showed us the video of the act we were have to learn <laughs> and, and for so, a moment we were like ah I don't know maybe we should just go home yeah we had this <laughs> feeling of like oh my god no there's we no way we can do, do that <laughs> there's no way so and then yeah this realization came that ooh, we will have to get up there and it's very scary it was extremely scary, scary. we beginning. cried we cried the first time we had to go up there and you have the launch, right? You have the double launch. But when you do it for the first time, you don't really understand how it works. You know it will stop you, but you've never done it, so... You don't you, trust it. You don't trust it, exactly. So, oh my god, they told us, okay, swing, and now mm. jump, and catch the bar, and we're like, oh... It took we were us crying. forever, we were crying, it was... A, uh, it was... It was... Very scary. So scary. But once uh, we jumped... We understood a little bit, but it's still it it took a while. It all it takes a while to, even though you start doing it, the fear is there for a while, mm -hmm. because as you said, it's high, it's it's uh, it's just a little bar. Um, there's safety, but you still don't really feel it. The fear is there for, for a while. Like it took us a while to not be scared. We started of that. performing. We were still quiet, feeling uneasy on trapeze still scared to build the full swing and everything and uh but we still had fun our we progression fun. was quite slow yes we were slow we were sl slow developers <laughs> i think i mean uh, it, at first for me it's like uh hey <laughs> now we have a dog uh, uh, you had no choice yeah so uh, this is the thing it's something what drives you usually it's that you made the choice so you want it and for you, I don't know, so that's why I'm asking, like, so you uh, came there when you was, were 14 and then you still were 14 when you started or you already turned 15? Uh, 16, so we actually 16. stayed in Montreal for a while. But when you say, yeah, we had no choice, but that's the thing, we have, don't, didn't really have a choice in the sense that we needed to continue doing this because at some point we did realize how big of opportunity it was mm -hmm. from where we are coming from from a family in ukraine for quite a poor family uh, whose parents didn't really have money to put us in a university and stuff so like our prospects was like being a gymnastics coach which was mm -hmm. never really 
never exciting. So the fact that we were in Canada with, with this opportunity to try uh, to work and actually um, earn money, earn money and pretty good money for Ukrainian start standards, of course, uh, that was definitely a motivator to continue trying to do that <laughs> what they wanted us to do yeah money yeah. let's be honest money it's a real motivator it's <laughs> yeah the thing is we didn't choose trapeze nor didn't we choose the career in circus it kind of chose us both, yeah, both of these things and so i think it was interesting how our life was just shaped shaped that way and just took a completely new course from then on mm -hmm. into a life of circus Mm -hmm. And how was this? Uh, like you go to the school in Canada? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. we, st when we arrived, we first just started to learn English, just English. One year we were only there to learn English, mm -hmm. and then after we could, you know, ha uh, we started to speak some English and understand it better. We st we continued with our high school because we left Ukraine. We didn't finish school. Mm -hmm. So we yeah, had 14. to yeah. Mm -hmm. So we had to do our grade nine, ten, eleven in Canada. So we started with grade nine after. How was that? Did you feel like uh, easy or? Uh, yes. Easy? Compared yes. to Ukraine, it was easy. A Canadian system, uh, which is nice, is actually uh, a bit more relaxing in terms of uh, what they expect from you in high school. It does get more complicated in university. Mm. That's how it is in Canada. They like let you finish the school and then you can. Yeah. Yes, and then it's a it's then it's a big of a it's a harsher reality of once you're done school you're like no this is the knowledge you need to take but when you're in school it's still it's quite, more mellow it's a bit more mellow than Ukrainian past system. Sovietic uh, Sovietic system yeah Soviet. So Yes. System. Uh, Soviet system Soviet is system. Uh, yeah, too far of, of really harsh, uh, like these uh, higher uh, gr grades. Crazy. But How you have to you know everything. Yeah, uh, doesn't matter to... what you want, you have to know everything. Exactly. Yeah. doesn't matter what you want, you need to. But in Canada, they can kind of, the high school, they kind of let you choose what are your interests already are. Certain things and you, have, you can choose, which mm -hmm. is cool. And, and they concentrate give you, on. They give you also different levels to choose from. So for math, we could, there were three levels easy, medium, and difficult. And we could choose and a student can decide if they're good at math they can go for difficult and if they're not so good they go for easy and obviously as they decide also what they want to do in life if they really need really good math then they take the, the higher but if they if they that doesn't interest them and they want to do something else they don't need to to deal with this like extreme level of math that was cool the lower one is like Two plus two? No, 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 no. it's still algebra. It's, it's still, still high still, school. It's, yeah, it's still high school math. It's uh, no, but, it's still but without this question, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. No, even that, I guess. It's, like, it's without this um, statistical stuff and oh, wow, all these okay. more complicated things that they require in universities and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's usually in the university goes. To yeah, goes statistics. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, statistics and stuff. I didn't go this direction, so I don't know <laughs> a lot. <laughs> okay, and uh, so you did the school uh, together with the Cirque du Soleil, or how was that? Uh, you go to the school and then training? No, it's actually they have, a, uh, they employ a teacher wow. who comes to Cirque. There is an office and she is there just to teach kids who are in Cirque du Soleil. And then the same system is once you're on tour. We had two, three teachers traveling with us all the time. We had a full container just for a school, school container, school container with on, like on desks and everything on site. And those teachers again are there to teach the kids because at that time now it's not allowed. But at that time it wasn't only the artists who were kids; it was also the kids of the artists who could also go they to school. They could also do that system. The Canadian wow. system school. It was a lot of. Us? We were t around okay. ten, I think, ten kids. That's why we had three teachers, and but the teachers have to follow the Canadian, Canadian system. school educational system. Mm -hmm. So th we had to do these governmental exams and everything that were sent to Canada mm -hmm. and corrected there, and so. So you did the exams, and you have uh, yes. you graduated uh, the Canadian school. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we absolutely, we absolutely did, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, and uh, the one uh, question comes uh, straight after this. So, uh, what you, and then you live in, in the US? You live in the US for a while, or? 
Am we I went right? on tour for a long time. We were on tour for eight years. No way. With Salt in Banco. Yes. Yeah, so some months we were, we were done with our formation. Um, we were on tour for eight years. <laughs> Wow. So you came there. So you was till uh, you were fourteen. You live in Ukraine. You born and raised in Ukraine. Yes. Yep. Then you go to Canada for like eight months. Actually, we, we stayed there longer. Actually, almost two years because both of us had surgeries on our wrists. Mm -hmm. So we ended up staying there for a year and a half. So when we turned sixteen, we went on tour. So two years in Canada and then eight years on tour in yep. the U.S. Yeah. Uh, well. No, Europe, on tour, on but tour. it wasn't in, in the US. It, it was wasn't. Europe, Latin America, United States, Canada. And then it was, it was, yeah, yeah, it, yeah was, it was worldwide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because my question was what you call home, and now I don't know. <laughs> I mean, because of this. And now you, and when you moved to Germany? So seven and a half years ago. 2016. 2016. Okay. 2016 yeah. we moved to Germany. 2016. So we to moved answer to your question, actually, uh, Berlin and Germany is the longest that we've been to in one place, and I would say that it's the most home. But so before Germany, it used to be Canada that we would call home. That's where we would go between jobs or go back to. Yeah, we trained there. We lived there for a while. Three years. Yeah, we lived there. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. interesting because yeah, you have a first home, you have a second home, and now you have a third home. Yes, I know, right? Yeah, that's interesting. Yes, Ukraine was first, Canada was yeah second. Mm? But now you stick to Germany. You like to stay here? Yeah. Yes. For for, for now, yeah. For, for now, moment. yes. It's a little bit cold. <laughs> <laughs> in the winter it would be nice to and that something. was a change from Canada because it, at first well when I was deciding when we got to Berlin to go back to Canada and actually do make my home Canada but the cold that that was what deterred it and now Germany is becoming that factor well yeah it's definitely not as cold as Canada but yeah it's, yeah, it's not that cold as Canada I wasn't <laughs> there but uh, I can imagine it's minus bit. 20 i think right, right now. now yeah that's and it's i was in this kind of temperature so i can it's imagine it's true yeah. it's like but it's you're like from Russia, a more you're I from guess. more like south. a south part right yeah. so what is the you had minus yeah minus we had 10. minus minus 10 we had mm -hmm, definitely so it's nothing for you here come on it's just <laughs> it's warmer <laughs> yeah it's warmer <laughs> It yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, the winters are cold and, and rainy and dark. And yeah. yeah, I would say it's, a, uh, it's very gray. Yeah, like, um, it's very gray. I think that's what it is. In our countries, there is more sun. In Canada, I'm sure there is also sun. Yeah, even though it's extremely cold, definitely more sun. Yeah, yeah. The, the sun is the thing makes you alive. Even if it's cold, you can survive. If you see the sun, if you see the snow. No, I mean, we have snow, but... No sad. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we, record, uh, we find out where is your home, it's, uh, it's good. Um, do you have any twins understanding magic during the work? Uh, uh, like, like during the work, when, when you like, you feel that something is wrong and she's already like, I know that it's wrong, let's keep it, or like, I don't know, or something I, I mean know. to be honest I don't know if it has to do with the fact that we're twins or just with the fact that we work together for so long well, and live we together live together work together that we actually just know Each in other. certain situation when something happens uh, just um, how to communicate and and to move on we can also read each other super easily mm -hmm. because plus we in know our so, so uh, each other so well true so Plus, in our very long career, there's an incredible amount of, of different scenarios that already happened, mm -hmm. of what could go wrong. Yeah, and it, they still, they, they still happen. <laughs> it's still our new latest, things. Our still new things contract, we, we still had new situations we had to go through. So. Yeah, true. Wow, you know, 20 years of working and we still have it's something new. It's like something new. new that never happened before. 
where I um, got uh, caught in g- the launch. In, but my toe got caught in the launch, so I was just stuck there, and it was in my toe, <laughs> and and she had to I take had it to... because I couldn't even do it because I'm still holding on to the trapeze. It's not like I can just release my hands to take care of the launch that is stuck in my toe. So she did it for me. Wow, <laughs> it's like more and more things that you have to think about because yeah. as soon as something unusual for me happened during my work. On the next show, I started to think about it. I'm like, okay, that this unusual thing was happening, so now I'm worried even about this. Plus. Yeah, it's the same for us. Although, uh, again, throughout the years, I've learned this definitely, definitely, especially in the past, that would be a fear. Okay, something went wrong, something might go wrong again, all these things. But now what I see, what I really concentrate on, or what really helps is like, okay, this went wrong, but the next approach is you know exactly what to do for it to go right. So you kind of concentrate what you're doing right for it to happen correctly. And then basically most of the time it just works well yeah. of trying to um, think about what is correct as opposed to what can go wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm, I'm sure this is a... But it was a probably weird for you because as a gymnast uh, you have to be by your own. Yes, right? exactly. And then in 14 you like... How was that? I mean, I s- yeah, I still have this problem because I'm the flyer and she's the catcher that I'm basically supposed to give her my hands and she is the one who grabs them. But I have this still this uh, reflex from gymnastics where I'm the one grabbing everything because I'm the one responsible for doing Although all it's, the it's work. it's really not so bad. And so yeah, sometimes you, you know, do let I, me. I mean, you you have that instinct sometimes. But I remind her to not do it, <laughs> and then a lot of times it's it. Yeah, yeah I just have kind of have to wait for her yeah, to be yeah. the first one. I should be the, the one. But you have you don't need to build trust at least. I mean, for <clears throat> even the people who is like a duo, they love each other, whatever, right? And they w- start to work together. The romantic ones. Yeah, yeah the romantic. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even yeah. if you like, couples. it's it's a different thing because in the one way you can be, I don't know, like don't like i don't know have a fight and then i wouldn't trust to be honest oh, really? because yeah i don't know I, that's that's why i never but you I, have it to was say professional yeah no <laughs> you have to but in my head i will be like oh, what if off? you know because for example oh. for me for like in your case I, I don't see a question because you are sisters and you're twins because like my family teach me like my brother is the person who i have to trust 100 percent because he is my brother, there is not a question. And for him it's the same. Like this is your family, so you have to, it doesn't matter what's happened, but you have to be there for him or for her. Yeah, yeah. So in your case it's probably, you just like, yeah, whatever. We are sisters. Uh, it, it's just different <laughs> because we're not just sisters, we're twins. And I feel like when a twins is a little bit different connection than just siblings. Yeah, sure. So because we, you know, we we basically spend all of our lives together. We do everything. I don't know for the long, what how how long it was that we were apart, but we were never apart for too long. That that we don't even need to talk about it. But it's just it's just a given. It's there. It's yeah, very I mean, easy. definitely, it happened in our lives that we we argued a lot and we didn't like each other. But when he, we had to work, of course, there's not even a question that you, no one should trust anyone. Yeah, this yeah, I mean, that's why I'm thinking, like, it's even that you fight and stuff, but you're like, it's impossible. You don't remember the fight, the moment, like, you have to perform or even, it's it's just, it's, it's non-existent anymore. I mean, maybe it's stupid question from me, but the thing is that I always work as a single performer. I don't, I mean, when it's a group, it's a, also, of course, even if you have a fight in a group, you still do your job. But usually never my life, not in the hands yeah, of some other people, you know? You're a solo artist. I'm a solo artist, yeah. yes. And of course, I know yeah. that nobody will like ruin my job, but at least I don't have to give my life to any other uh, hands. And how was that actually when you uh, compete? You basically compete when you were kids, compete against each other. Yes, Yeah, but... But it wasn't like, it was nothing so dramatic. It's because I, like, she was always better than me in gymnastics. And I was always like in the background. So it wasn't really that we were competing against each other. We were still competing on different levels. 
Okay. It was mostly I was competing against my best friend. Because mm. then we yeah, were. Who was also very good. Yes, so, so mm-hmm. we were on the same level. True. I think one time I got injured during. It was funny during a competition and I couldn't do the last apparatus and so you gained more points and you were in the first place and I was on the second and uh, this it was picture. One time. and it was the funniest thing because that was like this moment of when Thais is first why is it funny? because it was the only <laughs> time that happened <laughs> She's like, why it's funny? Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Like, yes, there is a picture. Yes, <laughs> I was the first. That was amazing. That's what I love from. <laughs> okay, so um, is it annoying when people uh, don't see can see difference between you? No, but it is annoying when are not when they are not even trying. Yeah. There, there are people who are like. Who are you? I, I doesn't matter. You are the same, and they will not even try. That is annoying. Yeah, this is really not uh, not good thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't They're like, like that. Ah, twins, one one of the twins. Yeah, yeah. I but I would know. say it's harder to understand uh, who is who when you are apart. When you are together, you can see, and then you recognize it, and then you remember. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because when I see you one and then another one, I was like, then I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. But when you are together, you definitely see difference. Like, and then you just remember which what is. Yeah. Yes, that's the thing. Uh, like, people actually need to put some effort into remembering which face goes to which uh, name. name. And some people don't bother, and that's that's for me is like. Yeah, this is frustrating. That's, then that's they don't not make okay. an effort. They don't make an effort. They don't even want to see us as two individuals, mm-hmm. and that's kind of a sign for me that we cannot really even really be friends because as i said they're not even interested in mm-hmm. trying to find out anything about us actually. that's annoying and then yeah and that you kind of happens very fast in how we meet and how how things go then you understand There's some people like that understand what type of the person is. <laughs> you yeah. don't want to know who is who okay and th- that's how you know we're not really gonna be friends yeah but yeah <laughs> And now you do also a uh, dance therapies and uh, when you decide to do this and why? So uh, we used to have two acts, uh, static therapies and swinging therapies. Static therapies was also always a little bit difficult for us because we're the same size and actually Taisa, the catcher, she's actually a little bit smaller than I, the flyer. So to do all of these Tricks, tricks on static is physically difficult for a catcher it's a lot on uh, just strength work mm-hmm. on in the swing we can use the momentum, momentum and, and the force of the swing and uh, you know i'm i'm lighter mm-hmm. when when i'm when i'm on the swing but static is just gravity pulls you down so it's a lot of work for her and so after that, we decided when it became a bit too hard for her. Plus, yeah, and it was also it, it was also a realistic move in the sense of all these uh, duo trapezes started coming out, men and women, mm-hmm. it started becoming very very popular, and they're amazing uh, acts, In- incredible with this tricks, incredible tricks of uh, men and women starting doing crazy things, and I mean, there was just no point for us to compete with that. We just couldn't. We couldn't. We yeah, of course, man, and that's mostly like a big, huge guy and a little girl. Yeah. And of course, I yeah. mean, just it, because it depends, uh, but yeah. yeah, he can throw her around, and it's just it's just easier uh, from a sense of like he can use the strength and she's the beautiful, you know, flyer. And so we decided, okay, what can we do that's not so not like so concentrated oriented. on strength. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's a more it's a more of a artistic dancing uh, with some tricks. twins and and so that's the idea of dance trapeze game where we can actually use uh, the idea of being twins and being the same, still doing some tricks and not crazy as what they do on static trapeze. Um, yeah, but have the trapeze move and go up and down and have this images. Of, yeah, more of an image. More movement and uh, f- uh, still have this effect of flying a little bit and dancing in the air. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
This is actually I saw a video uh, on the YouTube of the the mm. trapeze. It looks super cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. We're working on a new app right now. Yes, it's so. exciting. It's exciting. It's nice. Yeah, so we'll have a we are working. The idea that what is the idea or we cannot say not it. yet we still but we still, we still we we're still exploring it's still in a improvisation mode exploration mode um, uh, it, it just can't answer at the moment it's too but it is fun and exciting <laughs> I would say it's a cool moment and uh, all like in the both us you use this uh, uh, when you like move together like a head or something because m me personally I'm addicted to this uh, uh, sound keys. And when people like there with this sound, like a uh, accents, you know, mm. and me personally in the juggling, I also try to do it. I also try to catch the accent and do mm. the tricks, which is not always works, unfortunately, but still. Uh, and uh, it's even when the two people like a duo or a, or a trio, or, like uh, when they try to do something synchronized, it's not always works, but when it works, it's perfect. Mm. And yeah. on your side, it's so cool that you maybe it's also like a feeling of each other because this is like so cool because when you do it all, I cannot say anything else yeah because from the uh, when you see close of course you see the difference but of course from the stage you see the two twins mm. who is moving like completely the same it's super cool and as you said when it it works it works it's the same for us it's like uh, we still Sometimes need to we still need to concentrate a lot and work a lot on the fact of actually trying to make it the same uh, it still takes a lot of work for that, but um, we will definitely concentrate on the synchronicity in, in the in the new in version the new for sure. Well. There's gonna be a bit even more of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say yes. like a, um, when someone uh, uses this mirror thing. Yeah, the mirror. Very beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So I'm actually quite excited about what it's gonna get me. <laughs> oh, I'm not so excited. <laughs> I will probably record it. Ah, uh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. I will be the first. <laughs> nice. So I have something else. Um, do you do you uh, actually ever wanted to try some other apparat or some other discipline or maybe juggling? <laughs> Just ju 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 juggling, to be honest, I tried just for fun and it's impossible. I cannot to even try juggle two balls. Three, three balls I couldn't. I mean, I tried to learn three balls and it's so, so difficult. It's so difficult. Yeah, no. So, no. No, no uh, juggling. Uh, yes, at some point we did try other things and we had interest. Like, uh, at some point we wanted to try Chinese pole, you know, it was oh, yeah. really fun. Painful. Very painful. We tried some tissue. We did tissue. tissue, also fun. fun. Painful. <laughs> 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 um, oh, you also did straps. Oh, you did, did do straps. straps with the guy with Ryan. That, that was, was actually cool. really nice. You did some cool stuff. Wow! With yeah. the other guy. <laughs> yes. Hello. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. Um, yeah. So we definitely, definitely did. Um, we never really went as far as actually um, making into it into a thing. I don't know why. Um, uh, well, we didn't spend so much time actually on it. We tried it for fun, we but just not tried really it, serious. True. With the straps, we actually made an app. Yeah, yeah. You actually had a video. You yeah. have a video of that somewhere. It's somewhere. probably lost, but it was incredible what we did. I think. Yeah. Have you worked this? It. Huh? No. Oh, okay. Okay. We we filmed it. We were hoping to get some things with it, and then we got offered Hoya with Sir Disney. And and Mexico. and Ryan also got offered some and solo yeah. stuff because he was also so it was just that man that so was So we it. went separate ways. We continue doing trapeze he continued doing other stuff and but nice try i'm sure it's it's a nice try wow okay uh so no mm -hmm. and now you stick to the plan uh now we stick doing... definitely to trapeze because at some point you know you become older and um you do what you do best you just do yeah, yeah. i mean plus time you also understand how valuable time is and at some point you need to decide what do you use the time for and so at this point of our lives and career, we either spend our time d doing what we do best, which is trapeze and what we really love, or or we just try completely something. Yeah, I not circus like, anymore. A separate something and else. trying to actually try something else. Uh, if not circus, then then what? <laughs> like for now, like for example, right now I'm doing like a digital marketing course, so I'm I'm, I'm learning that. She's doing a lot of it. It's like yeah, it's very uh, demanding. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work. Yeah. When it's finished, 
É, é end of March. End of March, ok. Então, You're planning to finish end of well, March. Well, my, my course is, is running to the fact that I have to finish. Ok, so have, okay. okay. that's cool. Beginning of April. Nice. I hope it works. Yeah, I Ooh. hope so too. I think it should work, yeah. Nice, do you like it? Yes, there's some parts. I mean, of course, and now I understand what they say. Digital marketing is actually a lot of little... Um, Section? Yeah, departments, mm -hmm. and so some certain things are not for me, but certain things are actually quite fun. Yeah, you can decide. Yeah, what you, you want. can decide. You kind of have to specialize in something. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, it's rare that you find uh, someone who is just specializes in everything. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. kind of need to to see cool. because then you need to dig deeper. Once you decide, you there's still so much learning in that specific area i think in that area it's always change everything and uh, you have to always learn yeah yeah, yeah exactly trans... technologically yeah. it constantly change things constantly change so you continue need to she's so close to the mic <laughs> tell me everything you want to say i <laughs> see she like okay. really you can record yeah, it really huh? yes. she's she's right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. you will be recorded yeah, yeah, yeah. you are everywhere <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no, Luna, you also want to say something. She also wants to say something. I have a next question uh, about dogs. Oh, uh, oh. Yes, <laughs> At first, uh, you need to have a dog with you on a contract, right? You need it. Not always. Not always. No. I mean, do you have this feeling that I want my dog to be with Yes. Me? Of course, it would be nice as long as if we can, we definitely bring them. We always ask, can we please bring the dog? Mm -hmm. Sometimes and we can, sometimes we cannot. You, uh, once you told me that you uh, choose uh, exactly these dogs because they're small and this is better for the apartment and for traveling and for possibility to be on a, st on a to have them on a backstage. So that was the idea of those beautiful puppets. <laughs> Except oh, now she's becoming fat and so she's not that small anymore. So yeah. if you need to fly, she needs to lose some weight. Aww, yeah. You cannot fly now. <laughs> but if you can, uh, for example, have another dog, plus those ones, Perfect. but maybe uh, you have no restrictions anymore, big, small, or whatever. I would definitely go for a bigger one. You definitely Like medium size, bigger. not a huge one, but medium size. What, which one? I actually do not know. I, I cannot say the breed because a lot of times I really want a uh, next dog to be like a rescue. So from, from a, shelter. From a mm -hmm. shelter, either from other country or from Berlin, we'll see. Uh, so but maybe not uh, even a breed. Yeah, so it, it, it can even be a stray. There's so many uh, beautiful strays or mixes that it's so hard to say what they are, mm -hmm. but still so beautiful. So yeah. That's definitely what I would have. And uh, you also think? For me, it would be a rescue as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's a good I would thing. not buy my next dog. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to take uh, also a rescue dog, but uh, for me, it's uh, hard with the allergy. Mm. You need a specific that kind. I need a specific kind, yes. I mean, even, even with those, I think sometimes you can find, of yeah. course, but it just like takes some time. Like poodle, poodle mixes yes. yeah. or something. There are also, I think, some homeless dogs. Like yeah, that, that was I was thinking. It would not be super easy to find, no? Yeah, but yeah. I think if you can look, maybe it's possible. I'm sure it's maybe they're also taken, maybe quite fast. But for me, it's only an option. Like if mm. I want to adapt dogs, I can adapt only this. Like it only also some there. sometimes when you travel to these far, far lands of mm. like these poorer countries, or like when we traveled uh, last year, I traveled with my boyfriend to Latin America, like in Ecuador. There were so many street dogs and poor little things so skinny and so many of them so if you know when you see that you yes, really want to take yes, one and home. there was one little poodle and he was little small and super cute and i would have loved to take him home with me but then it also becomes of maybe if it was you there you would have just like oh i take this one that's it i bring him home Who yeah, knows? Yeah, yeah but this is just by chance if you are somewhere otherwise yeah it's not it's not super easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's definitely cool to have a dog. Uh, yeah. What do you think about dogs who work in the circus? Well, it's I, I guess with dogs it's not so bad because dogs enjoy training. It's stim stimulating for them, right? Yeah, yeah except uh... of course it depends how they treat mm -hmm. them. Because I feel like from what I've seen when we did festivals, circus festivals and there were dog acts there, 
these people, I feel like the circus performing dogs, they're kept separately from their personal dogs that they keep in their house. As pets, yeah. So because they, they don't, I feel like this is the rule or something. They have to be separated. Maybe. It's like work. It's not fun. And so that is sad. That is sad for me. Yeah. I But then again, we've only seen a part of it stage and a backstage. I don't know how they are when they're home or something. I just know that they go on stage and then from that they went into the cage. Yeah. Into their little So and then that they wasn't really there. nice to see. So yeah I don't uh, I know I have a friend he's actually working with dogs and his family was working with dogs. They have a, a dogs act, it's like a dog school it calls. And uh, they also have a uh, home dogs but the thing is that um, they most of the dogs they're also rescue. Mm. and the home dogs also rescue and sometimes it's a mother of uh, one of the dog who That's is cute. working and they also separate because they treat them differently yeah they yeah. do right and yeah. otherwise these dogs wouldn't work yeah because obviously of course the dogs the home dogs also trained but only for the normal life for the usual stuff yeah, yeah. for the usual mm -hmm. stuff sit wait walk this yeah. and the other dogs they they will see the difference and it's not good for them, not because it will be bad for the dogs. Mm. They will see also they're not uh, stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. That they're and treated differently. Yeah, they're yeah. treated differently, yeah. and it doesn't mean that they treat them bad. They have actually big, quite big, uh, like cage or something. They also walk them all the times, like and they eat well and everything. And he's there for them every day. There is never even he's sick and they they cannot practice, but you have to practice with them every day. Mm. Mm. This is the thing. You cannot just leave them. Yeah. And uh, you have to do it. And it's hard to go anywhere for the vacation. Because then what's it's going to happen? It's a lot of happen? dogs. It's a lot of dogs. Wow. Of course, there is a person who will take care of them. Go with them, with them to walk and stuff. But they miss you. Because you are the the person. And uh, it's this. It's like a part. Like the play for them. Mm. So th And he has to be there for them all the time. But basically, it's also a cage, you know? It's just a bigger one. It's a mm. little bit bigger, but still a cage. When you close the dog in one room, he's in a cage. Yeah, true. And they do have each other, right? There's a pack of yes. dogs, and they have their true, own dynamic true. in there. So, true. I guess... And he also told me that sometimes some dogs could, you know, they have... Maybe they're too... They have too much fun today. And he decided that this dog doesn't go to work. Because it's not go it's not gonna go well. Uh, he's not ah. gonna listen so so well. Yeah, he's too much excited about something. Mm. And he always has a replacement for every dog. So this dog doesn't go, another go. Okay. And this go dog, the saddest dog in the world. Ah that doesn't go to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. When oh. they don't go to work they're so sad, he said, oh. because it's like a fun. It's yeah, real yeah, fun. Yeah. True. And they're like, I'm not taken. Oh, <laughs> I would say with dogs, it's yeah, it's kind of okay mm. for my opinion. Yeah. But I don't know about other animals. I will say that cats, when cats on a stage, it's impressive at least because like really. No, in cats, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, cats you did definitely it impressive. Yeah. But I'm totally against animals on stage in a circus. Yeah. I or can't stand. horses as well. I guess horses is not so bad. Why? I've seen, we worked with a troop that were working with they, horses. But they were treating them so well. I mean, it's family. Mm. It's family. Maybe it's not so nice for the horses to run in a small uh, arena. I feel sometimes they get scared when it's very tight. I feel mm. like they're... So it wasn't very... It's stressful for the horses. True, it was stressful for them. Um, but I feel like because they're treated so well, hopefully they enjoy it. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> It's like, uh, you know, the animal who was born at least, or was a very, very small when they take them, they don't have, they don't see any Yeah, difference. they don't know any other way. They don't know. Like Oscar has no eye, he already forget about it. Yeah, true. I think no. he definitely forget that he has two eyes before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. I think so too. Yeah, he forgets. But this is just his reality now. Yeah. yeah, he's like, it's okay, don't feel sorry, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. But it's really depend on, depending on how you treat them. So mm -hmm. I think this is have to be really, if you're working with animals, make sure that uh, it's the right animal yeah. at first. Yeah. Like the, this, uh, some uh, in this aquarium, right? Yeah. When they, they're like, 
I don't remember the name. Sea of World the, or something. Like uh, any Sea World. Uh, yeah. Some of them remember their family. That, that mm. It was proven that those animals. Yeah, it's they the remember. killer whales, no? I think yeah. that's what yeah. came out. Even if there yeah, is a little really one. When it's a little ones was taken from the ocean, they remember, and this is, I think... It is mm. illegal now. They don't take them anymore. The ones that are there are only the ones that are born there. They're not allowed to take them from the wild anymore. Yeah, because it, this is a... Yeah, thing. yeah, it's mm. extremely... Uh, Torturous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a suffering, yeah, for them. Okay, mm. it's a sad Yeah, yeah, it's going, yeah. Going. <laughs> That's true. Uh, oh, the question, uh, the new one. Um, what trick people uh, from the audience usually takes the most? They're like, wow! Well, of course, the angel. It's when I when I fly, when I jump forward, I just just let go of my hands, and Ruslana, we catch leg to leg. So mm -hmm. I, I it's with a my classic. legs, I catch her legs, and especially it's a classic, if, we're, but it's, uh, if we are swinging over the audience, it's it feels for them as if they're she's falling on them, and there's always a big reaction from the audience. Oh, someone yells, screams, oh ah, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when I do a really nice flick, I also get a nice reaction. Mm -hmm. but yeah, because you jump yeah, backwards. Yeah, because I go backwards. That's also surprising. I mean, for me, when I saw that, it all, for me, it's also a very cool trick. Mm. That because you, yeah, you, you, don't, you expect don't expect it, it's so it. fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, I, I remember you told me that uh, people also like when you just swing. Yes, it's already <laughs> quite nice. They feel, I feel like maybe a little bit nervous. Again, because we're high up, and this moment of swinging and it builds and it builds, I guess it creates. A beautiful image, but also I but feel also like impressive image, right? Imagine like I'm pretty sure people get more and more nervous the higher it gets. True. It takes so much space, yeah. And then realization that these girls are God knows where up there. <laughs> I think there is a plus in this. The same plus like in a hula hoop act that everyone tries that at, when they were a child. I mean, not a trapeze, True. but the swinging. The swinging. And many people try to go very high, you know, this thing, yeah. and uh, fall down horribly high. Yeah. And, <laughs> and a hula hoop, it's something that everyone try in their life. True, mm -hmm. Or, true. or uh, tight, um, ah, wire the tight wire, the wire walking. Not maybe exactly wire, but anything you try to walk on a... Like. And you try, right? And you fail yeah. miserably. It's so hard. I try. You, you try to do one, two steps. That's it. You're mm -hmm. just... You're done. Yeah. It's and I really think the juggling, juggling in a way, it's also the same because everyone tries to do something. So, yeah. And this stuff, what people are amazed about, because they kind of... We try that, but we never like, what? I'm sorry. It's, I think it's a, like a double wall effect for them because they see how far you go and they're mm -hmm. like we never did it and then they jump or oh, hello so it's like a, i think it's built this it has this um, ladder between their uh, emotions from the childhood and now they're like wow okay yeah yeah, yeah true true probably for someone it's, it's a, a good way to put it yeah for mm -hmm. someone it's like oh it's a good life always like a child they can swing and you're like god damn you don't know <laughs> i don't think no one has ever told us yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh it seems so nice that <laughs> let me try it no yeah. most people are scared no of they're that. scared they're scared some people tell us oh we couldn't watch it was so scary i couldn't watch i'm like please watch we made something <laughs> for you <laughs> Come on, yeah, yeah. It's I really heard it from other people who are, who is doing aerial, mm -hmm. some aerial, not only swimming. When it's scary, yeah. When it's scary, mm -hmm. especially when it's uh, very high. Mm -hmm. For example, this uh, for me, which is also super scary, this um, uh, wire when it's a lot of people, the group tight wire. Oh, uh, you know I cannot watch it also. I, my my palms are sweating and I get yeah sometimes really, you close uh, you close like your eyes. I don't it's enjoy true. it I yeah. get really scared so I especially I hate see. when they put this wire a little bit like this mm. you know you did you see this and trick? then they walk and up with the group that there are some people on top and on top yeah they have chairs in between and no I've only know. I've only seen it when it's flat I didn't know they do the same thing going actually up that's yeah. crazy it's usually kind of a last trick uh, of the yeah, of this. And actually, I, yeah, just thinking about it makes me nervous. They, they're sliding a little bit because it's, I mean, come on, I don't know, I'm like... And they mm -hmm. never have any mats or safety. Yeah, they don't. 
and then uh, they don't yeah it's 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 scary super scary you know the trick um when the guy is very 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 up there and they just like jump uh, no. to the net ah uh, yeah no <laughs> 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 Crazy. Into a bowl of water. But they, <laughs> they jump from what? From where? Uh, I mean, I saw this in, in the Russian circus. Uh, uh, and they go just super up there to the cupel. Ah, oh, so just okay. one point. One highest point. The highest yeah. point in the circus. And, and then, then they, they just this jump. Is, this is they the just thing. jump, yeah. But they, they go and they like, this is the legs. They just do Hang. this. But this is like the super far away. Yeah, it's, the yeah. big, it's a very so big circus. What is it? Twenty meters? Or? Yeah, probably yeah. like thirty or something. The, Th- thirty the meters yeah. and or something. Yeah, and there is a net, so they just like jump and then boom to the net. Ah. This is I like, have never seen it live. I've seen a video of that because it's a very old thing to yeah. do. I I've seen it as a video, but yeah, no. I, I saw it live. That, That's yeah. horrible. I mean, uh, no, it's not, it's it's cool, but you like. It's like a free fall. Yeah. Yeah, free fall onto a net, that's crazy. And you have to kind of tuck in the right time. Oh, God. And it's too far away. I was jumping from five meters it's to horrible. the water. And then I was like. Yes, I know, right? You jump three meters into the water. You're like, oh, right? Imagine it's like... You, you go up like five, seven meters, and everything becomes smaller and smaller. It looks this big yeah. when you're yes, up high. It's true. It's and true. It's horrible. It must be horrible. And you think that if you yeah. jump, jump too far away, you wouldn't even get where you want it. Like... Yeah, but I guess the net is quite big, right? Yeah, the net is quite big. But, and mm. he's like not jumping. He just like yeah. hang. He releases his legs, right? Yeah. His so he and... he hang. He just like this. So it was like no mistake possible. Yeah. So he yeah. cannot really go to the side or anything. No, I, I think it's nice that you always work with the uh, safety. Safety. Yeah. And I don't see the why you don't have to. Mm-hmm. And I would never do it. And there were some people who have asked us. Oh, for the fast festival or something, it would look amazing or extremely like dangerous if you just remove the safety and do it without the safety. Never in my life, never. Yeah, it will be actually dangerous. It's not will look dangerous. It will be dangerous. No, you fall once and, and you never yeah, know. You might. You're be. dead or you were or you're handicapped. handicapped or you're, it's it's just not it's, worth it. It's not no, worth my it's life not worth it. worth more than the festival. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually super agree. Better to do what you know you can do without like this risk. Mm-hmm. Not any other job you can get after. So, um, yeah, blitz. Blitz. What is blitz that? questions. Oh, uh, fast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that means that you have to answer very fast. Oh. Both of us at the same time. No, or? no, no need to do it in the same time. You can just do it by uh, one by okay, one. Okay, one and one and one, one. Who is the faster uh, first and then another one? Okay. No, not at a one question for each of you. Oh, okay. ah. Every everyone uh, ask the same question. So okay. I'm asking question. Uh, how are you doing? You say what you think, and you say also. Okay. What you think. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, we can just start from Ruslana. Uh, so it's always will be you first and you second. Okay. So you will have time All to All right. I'm, I was not. born second, so that's okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 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 you used to it. So, <laughs> uh, what is better? A beer after the show or beer before the show? Well, after the show. <laughs> oh, <dude>. After the <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> not everyone have a, this answer for the question. Uh, the best song to sing in the shower. Oh, I, I don't sing in the shower. <laughs> Recommend people something. Do you? No, I don't. I don't sing in the shower. I'm trying to think of. I a guess song. it's like it's raining, man. <laughs> Maybe something. Yeah. It's raining. Man. Makes sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my <laughs> <laughs> so now, so now we know what, now we know what will happen after I leave. <laughs> okay, um, which element do you classify yourself as? Fire, water, earth, or air? Air, for sure. Air. Okay, yeah, makes sense also, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, What is your zodiac sign? Libra. The same? No, but I don't know, maybe another day, another sign, who knows, (laughs) like... (laughs) No, same day. Libra, do you you believe in the thing, uh, like... uh... Ruslana does, I definitely less. I think so, Uh, there are some characteristics. Ruslana follows that somehow. Yeah. 
Do you yeah. follow the thing like, for example, uh, don't f- th- this sign is go- not going to be a friend to you? Don't like. <laughs> and the compatibility. The yeah. Compatibility. When we were younger, we were a little bit. Uh, we would think about I it think a little bit. I think Libra and Scorpios are not supposed to. Huh? I don't know. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Looks like exactly. everything is you fine. See? <laughs> you see, that's why for me it's like doesn't I make know, much it's, sense. It's so different. And and then when you dig uh, deeper, it's not a, only your sun sign. There's the moon sign. There's the uh, like I some planets. Know, some planets. planets the, and then the moment. The, in the shadow what you are. And <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's like true. so many subdivisions. Then which year you were born? Yeah. So we are like tigers here. And then I'm a cock. Ah, rooster. Yeah, cock and a scorpion. Ah. For some people, I'm actually also really fine. I don't, means. I don't care. Yeah, uh-huh. I, see, I look at the people, not their signs. <laughs> it's going to be very complicated then. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Pringles or, or lace? Lace, Pringles. <laughs> it was like before you weren't very happy to answer, and it was like you know just a comment, and then you're like, I have to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Pringles or lace? <laughs> okay, situation. Uh, in the middle of your act, music just suddenly changed uh, to the music from Benny Hill. What do you do? Who is Benny Hill? You know, this... Like this. I mean, you, go you continue, you go on. I mean, there's probably maybe a little bit of laughing will be uh, <laughs> some, some confusing faces. But you go on sh- and wait on. until it switches back to normal. If family. it's not switches back, then we you're like... We finish the act like this. And then you just keep like... <laughs> it is what it is. You smile. <laughs> I mean, will, will you join this song? Because, yeah, you finish that and then you have to go down and, and leave and you still have the song. I mean, then I probably would just start laughing. I don't feel like I can somehow join the song, but I will definitely <laughs> find it really funny. Yeah, this is a professional way of uh, deal with the situation. Um, have you ever get a dick pic? No. 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 Okay. That's good. Guys, please, uh, there is a little com- complicated thing. They're, they'll never get a dick pic. <laughs> Even I get twice. I mean, really? Yeah. I'm not proud of it, to be honest. <laughs> but it happens. Oh, wait, on Tinder, wasn't... I don't know, did you? No, wasn't there like creepers? No, I don't remember. No, but even then, messages. It's... There were some creeper messages mm. sent. Yeah, no, dick pic I've never received. It's like the thing is that the many girls, uh, once at least in their lives, they receive... Them. Maybe when you're younger, you have more possibilities because if it's a newer thing. <laughs> but it's not me who is actually was attracted to it. It's just, you know, just like get it, like, hey, how you yeah, doing? Yeah, some and guys just think that this is, yeah, this is something that you might like yeah, for but some this reason. Is so, I find it disgusting, actually. Yeah, I would say that's uh, at least it's weird, and yeah, it's disgusting, 100%. <laughs> uh, best movie to watch in the rainy day? Oh, Ooh, Love Actually. Pretty Woman? I okay. <laughs> I just watched it. <laughs> love <laughs> Actually? Yes, but it? it's it's more of a Christmas movie, though. Mm-hmm. Um, Notting Hill, Any, anything ah, romance. Ah, Notting Hill is yeah. great oh, romance. Notting Hill is amazing. Fall for a rain movie, that's true. Julia Roberts and romance, it's great. But also something like Harry Potter. It's also a good, uh, like, rain stuff. First, just... first uh, Harry Potter, it's not the last. Really? I even, I like the last. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> for me, it's so dark. It's dark. Uh, I, I, I like dark stuff. I like all books, but with the movies, mm. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, uh, which superpower you would like to have? Ooh, maybe become invisible. Travel through space and time. Through space and time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Actually, Why invisible? Oh, good question. I want to grab a bag. Because you can, ju- you yeah, you can just enter certain things b- that Ooh. we never even think that we we are not invited or we are somehow not can you imagine all these places where like super rich are or like what these, they talk about all these like uh, this like exclusive clubs and all these places oh just Ooh, trying to see what's happening okay. there <laughs> <laughs> gotcha and uh, uh, so you want to travel through the spaces uh, where 
No, in time, mostly time. time. I would time. love to travel back into like Victorian times or something, where those big dresses have balls. Curly, okay. Curly hair. It's actually quite <laughs> heavy. But only if I'm rich, because as a peasant, it's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> Maya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, only if I, yeah, because the, actually, uh, I had I have this uh, question: um, if you want to go to the past or to the future, mm-hmm. so you want to go to the past, yeah, to this uh, time yeah. to yeah. be rich, and yeah, you, yeah, yeah, true. Even you know, like imagine like Paris times in like eighteen hundreds or something. You could meet some prince. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or a gentleman. <laughs> or a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the way that they, they spoke. Yeah, it's like hand kissing. Yeah. Yeah. The Although they hands. did no uh, dick pics back then. <laughs> yeah, no, no dick no, pics, no, but no. Women <laughs> were they didn't have any rights, so yeah, true. Mm. Yeah, couldn't do anything. You were yeah. just a pretty thing. Yeah, this is just to see. Otherwise, yeah, you would not want to live in that time. Mm-hmm. But you want to go to Paris, and you also? No, no, or? England. England, England. Oh, ah, yeah, this for is a you good it's one. England. Mm. England, yeah, and you? Yeah, I thought more of like Paris or. Yeah, more like this romantic places. <laughs> I don't know. I read books uh, like uh, you know the some books, whatever, and like uh, and about uh, those time in Paris. It would be horrible. Ah uh, yeah, uh, because I of the like dirt yeah. and then yes, yeah, the poverty and all that stuff yeah. at that time. Yes, like the um, uh, what is what is the very famous like uh, perfume. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. set in Paris. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah, was that very bad. Was, yeah. I would say that this king and stuff. Uh, when when the time of kings, I would not like to go because mm. in this time they it's kill everyone. They too kill easy. everyone. True, it's all also the very harsh. Yeah, and always poison at each other and a woman and whatever. And if you are too beautiful, you may dead because everyone wants you. If you are not beautiful, you may dead because no one <laughs> wants you. So it's and like then <laughs> you might as well die in childbirth because that happened fifty percent of the time. Yeah. Yes, everyone. I mean, could, giving yeah. birth. I mean, and a child, if like was like also, they don't know how to deal with that. So it's many times it's a horrible time. But <laughs> I would say I know that the. Um, <laughs> Can uh, I please just uh, just um, see it? As an observer. Visit the ball. <laughs> just yeah. visit the ball. One ball and yeah. dance with a beautiful gentleman. You can. <laughs> okay. I would like to go more to this Sherlock Holmes time mm. in England. Mm. What was that time? That's uh, what, I think 1900s? that's also 1800s, no? Yeah, the but there is more like, it's already like a gentleman thing. True, and more, it is more gentleman. like, um, they already know something about how Yeah, to... not Jack the Ripper time. No. no. Mm. <laughs> that's like 1500s in London or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's actually, if you go back to the history, it's something. Not, not, you cannot find the best time. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe true. one day. <laughs> Always something happens. Yeah, <laughs> someone kill each other. Yeah. Um, Okay, um, your favorite German word? Uh, what is it? It's this... Um, Sehnwürdigkeit. No. Sehnwürdigkeit. Se- Sehnwürdigkeit. Sightseeing. Like, Sightseeing. A, like a sight. Why? Why do you like this word? Because it's so long. <laughs> <laughs> I like... I like she like something long. You remember this dick I got? It was long. <laughs> Uh, for me, it's neugierig. neugierig. I like. I really like that word. Uh, it, word. It means uh, curious, mm. but uh, literally, it's translated to be um, envious. No, gierig is when you um, um, want something. Yeah, want uh, things. Uh, and noise new, so you crave new things, and that's curious. Mm-hmm. So that's actually quite interesting. Wow, that's interesting. Neugierig. Yeah. I, I, to be honest, I already uh, forget this word, but uh, recently I heard one word in, in Instagram. And uh, this word, uh, um, when you translate it, it actually means the feeling when you're already drunk, but you want to go to another party, so now you have to puke. Oh, they have a word for Yeah, it. and for this uh, big action, it's uh, they have a word for it. And uh, if there is a German watching, please write this word. But it's something with like... A, uh, like a planning, uh, so it's existing this like a plan, so they plan to make it. It's a plan, and there is a special word only for this. Interesting. It, yeah, because it's German language. Mm-hmm. We need there to is, ask a German person. Yeah, there is a specific word for specific situation, mm-hmm. and I think it's so German. <laughs> yeah. But do you like the language? Yes. yes. You don't. I see how most people don't at first. 
because when you don't really know how it works it sounds strange but as you start learning it you realize that it's much softer than you think mm -hmm. it actually has to be much softer and there is a yeah it's actually it's, it's quite nice there's some logic to it yeah there's there's, there's definite logic to it it's, yeah there is no. logic it's not always like for, the, for example uh henshu yeah, yeah. hand shoe. That's kind yeah, of a yeah. cool word, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's shoe for your hand. <laughs> shoe for sure. yeah. yeah, yeah. And this yeah. is actually what the interesting word you, uh, easier to remember. I mean, this one I didn't remember, but I did just write read it once. Uh, but yeah, because of this interesting logic they have to put those words together. Sometimes you don't understand why. Yeah, but you still can remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what is your favorite game? Wizard. Wizard, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, don't know that many games. The table to be game. True. Yeah, don't, you don't play. Sure. Don't play like uh, PSP or uh, PlayStation or. No, no. Xbox. Unfortunately, we had none of that growing we up, had, and we were so really, really poor, so had nothing. And then like you that. know, as you're older, and then you do other things. Never really got into it. So no games like a PS, like on a computer games or uh, no, no, just table never games. Never had a yeah. computer. Ah, yeah. oh, but we did though. You know this uh, solitaris back then on yeah. the computer. Oh yeah. This Tetris. Ah, solitaire. No, solitaire. Yeah. Solitaire, solitaire. yeah, that was nice. That was actually fun on the computer all the time. <laughs> I think the kids now watch you like what? But as solitaire, true, I also remember. True, you and also when you remember. like, the, there is a um, uh, when you have to put uh, like a one, and there is probably a bomb somewhere. Ah, yes, the and bomb then so one. Explode. Oh, yeah, yes, it, there was uh, also I don't remember the name. Uh, me too, but it's mm. also something but it, about. But the... that's nice because that's more about strategy, and you were supposed to account because yeah. there's numbers of what the possibility of the bomb being where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the idea. I was of it. not very good at. <laughs> me too. Mostly I just press somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and just, hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the but same. But solitaire is good. It's a, it's. A yeah, cool. it's the logic. Like you have to think. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and remember as the a card. kid. Yeah. I also used to play uh, Harry Potter games, the first three games, which like 2001 and uh, 2003 and five or something like that. I don't know these ones. Release, it's so cool, I, I really like it. But our Corona game, you remember, it was Yahtzee. We played it all the time in Corona time. What is Yahtzee? Um, it's, it's this I think it's called something else in English. Yahtzee is, is German? a German word for it. No, but in the US, I was just there, they sell it as uh, Yahtzee. Yeah. It's, really, it's, it's with dice, it's a game mm. with dice and points. And that was points. fun, actually, too. But it's more of a, of a luck or yeah. just a chance. Uh, it's hard of not so much of a strategy, mm -hmm. although it's still exciting of a, like collecting all the points and, and rolling the, the dice. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. yeah, also like uh, the board games because it's like brings people together. When yeah. you sit in a computer and you play or a PlayStation, you're alone and this like communication. Much better. Yeah, but there's so many games even on the computer that you're constantly in contact with other people. Online, yeah, but no? yes, but it's not the same feeling. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's when not you're physical. physical. Together, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's different. It's obviously hard to bring some people to the table, but still, anyway. If you have possibility to become a man, a dog, a bird, uh, or a shark, uh, what you will choose? <laughs> a bird. I mean, I guess, I guess a man. You live longer? For one day, just no, one day. Ah, this is one day. For one day, day. yeah. We'll for just one day. <laughs> no, no, I mean, as opposed to a, a, a dog or, uh, or a bird. A dog, a bird, uh, a shark or a man? Who Definitely you? not a shark. I do not agree with violence. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> Definitely, yeah, a bird is super interesting because you actually fly. Can I be a dolphin? Yeah, I mean, I, I just put, I just put shark because it's uh, someone under the water, so okay. it's gonna um, be a dolphin. Okay, dolphin, yes, dolphin. I would love to just <laughs> have, have fun in the waves. That's all they do, really. They're so yeah. nice. They're cute. Aww. And they do <laughs> yeah. this one, seven. And you yeah. will watch her from. Yeah, I will. There. I will be from above, just flying there. <laughs> okay, so no man then. But you were when you was thinking maybe if uh, like uh, reincarnation then a man. Yeah. Then who knows like how how's the life is really different as a man I presume it's different 
to a woman. Yeah, I think it's so hard choice because you can like, as a man, it's interesting because you can be like, wow, what is that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at one point, but then it's like you yeah, get used yeah, to it. It's yeah, just, it's yeah, the it's same. Just there. As, yeah, as a mm. fish, you can, okay. If you're a dolphin, you don't forget things like a fish. You but yeah, but you're under. That's also nice. But the, someone can catch you. Or, no, I mean dolphins are really intelligent, actually. Yeah, I know that. So I think. They, but they, they still they, can catch you, I guess, if they want they, to. Don't they like pair for life? Isn't I don't. Yes, know. I think it's for with them, no. I don't yeah, know. Something. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I think a bird is a good thing because you just pull on people uh, <laughs> around oh, yes, you. Yes, the ones I didn't like. I can just fly around and pull on them. Yeah, but you cannot do it on purpose because they don't feel it. This is the problem of birds that they, that uh, they not so, like like when when some some birds poo on you, it's not because they want it because no, they course, cannot yeah. control it. Yeah, yeah. this it is the thing. It would be nice to control it yeah. and just specifically do it there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the but one day a bird and a dolphin, or I will be one day Luna. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a little pug. Or she have to be one day a person that tell us everything she wants. Oh, that would be amazing. I would love to know what goes through that head. <laughs> She's like, food, 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 <laughs> food, food. Probably it's food. So I have a little bit more questions. Are you okay with that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you can remember uh, your life, and uh, but you will have a possibility to start it again from the beginning, what you will change? Your knowledge, but you're back to your, I don't know, five years old or six years old. But knowing everything I know now? You know, yes. You will know everything what's happened in <laughs> I your would, life. I would do more exercises for my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> but you will keep, uh, you will go to the yes. du Soleil. I guess I would try more things, just be a bit more open. Because it's just so shy and scared to talk to people. You also... I mean, understand just how important it is to reach out and actually just be a bit more open. That would definitely the main thing. As opposed to like changing my timeline, I don't think I would go there. Yeah. I think ha things happened and mistakes were made, but you also learn from them. So it's. I'm quite uh, grateful for, for how our life went. Oh, but definitely buying a flat 10 years ago in Berlin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, buying that a flat. That would have been definitely now a better it would choice. Be yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to go back not that far away. Just <laughs> yeah. ten years with the knowledge to buy. It. Yeah, just just buy that and it's a bit done. And and get a Bitcoin back then. Oh ah! yeah. Then we have to rewatch uh, go back in the future, this back in the future movie where the Those are little specific things, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and the last one, uh tell me the funniest story happens with you on the stage. During the art. Anything. The funniest, not when you almost die, because <laughs> when I ask people uh, what was the funniest story, they're like, uh, we smashed or I like, I get injured. It's not funny. I'm talking about the funny. <laughs> I think, okay, on stage, nothing crazy funny ever happened, like during our act. But I think one time we were doing audition, you remember, we were doing uh. this audition. And yes, we had to the only audition we've done. <laughs> Never <laughs> and it, was a, it was a disaster. <laughs> and so we had to go on trapeze that was quite low and kind of try to do our routine but couldn't and we were not prepared for it psychologically or physically. And anyway, somehow we start doing it and I go, we go upside down and basically my head is kind of on her shoulder. And then I want to come off from that position, to but continue. realize that my hair is completely stuck on her um, bra, a hook of the bra, a Ooh. bra hook. And so I'm just stuck in this awkward position with my head bent back, being stuck on the bra of my sister and like Be unable to, get out to move. I mean. And it felt like forever that I was trying to get out of that position. The music kept playing and... It was very awkward. The it directors was so awkward. looking at us. And, and, and I mean, I guess it's more embarrassing than funny. <laughs> but <laughs> thinking about it, it was really funny that, yeah. that that happened. Because nothing ever that like that ever happened to us. And so we kind of like... I, I managed to get out of it somehow. My hair was not anymore tight, uh, you know. Um. The mood was that by then, performing in terms of trying to show any skill to the director. Eva was gone. Was done. <laughs> my hair was, was like all over 
the place. We looked like completely lost. So the audition didn't work. <laughs> they didn't take us uh, to anything. <laughs> sorry to hear that. <laughs> they yeah. didn't. I little, mean, that's okay. A <laughs> little the, fail. Okay, the little fail. But usually everything is not... I mean, not this funny. little thing is uh, funny in a way that um, like a headpiece fell off uh, during the act. We had this headpieces, it fell off, and all of a sudden you're just with this awkward like uh, bun on mm -hmm. your head, and Ruslana looks is looking at me, and she just starts laughing. She starts laughing Hysterically. because it's so funny, Hysterically. looking mm -hmm. at me, losing and, concentration completely. And that yeah, yeah. was that was not good because obviously lost concentration, and then the next trick we just fell. fell so okay. I, th I think it was funny, but not so funny. It was very end. funny at the moment, and there, and then, and that we uh, we learned a valuable lesson yeah. <laughs> that whatever happens on stage, if it's funny or it you makes don't... you laugh, you do not try to lose concentration because that's also you just not don't very laugh. Nice. You yeah. keep it inside. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one hundred percent. You have to. It's sometimes very hard to keep it inside. To be honest, mm. uh, sometimes happens. Yeah, uh, I think I had something when I was laughing. So I was very sick. Uh, I sick, but I have to work anyway. And I was like, uh, you know, like uh, oh no, runny nose, runny yeah. nose, and I'm juggling like this. So it's running and oh, even no. worse. So during the act, I was always like. And you can't really do that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, on the stra stage will be weird. And uh, then it was like, it comes uh, to the point when I have to do the pirouette. Oh no. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you know, because you're moving, it's even more. Because yeah. you're getting warm, you know. And I was like, I cannot breathe already. I was like, <gasps> I was like this. You're I was breathing. smile like this. <gasps> and breathing like this, you know. So I did the turn and then I feel... That is just flying away. Oh no. <laughs> and uh. it's like just, just somewhere, I don't know. It was like a lot of them. Oh no. And because of the turning, maybe I just cannot keep it. And <laughs> on people, do you think it landed on people? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like uh, once it was uh, falling because it was the first time when I was sick. All my boxes, you know, just start to like go very slowly. <laughs> oh <laughs> oh no. no. <laughs> Oh. It's not a nice image on stage. Yeah, I actually, I don't know. It feels like it's going forever. Mm. I, I don't know for how long was that, but uh, it was weird. Of yeah. course, it's true because you look down. Yeah, and you, it's hard to actually have it inside. Even if you try your best, it's it's difficult. Oh, no. And even then I put some, uh, you know, the medicine there. Yeah. Oh, because you move. Yeah. It uh, keeps going. That's yeah. horrible. Okay. Like. It's uh, really disgusting, mm. and uh, yeah, but I'm uh, okay to share it. <laughs> uh, okay, girls, it was super nice talk with you. I yes, think it was too. very positive uh, conversation. Thank you for organizing this and inviting us. Yes, this was fun. Yeah, that was fun, especially with this. With the dogs. Luna yeah. had a lot of fun. Oscar yeah. just... Oh, he's sleeping. Yeah, Oscar is sleeping, that's good. You have any questions to me, I always ask people. No questions, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we see us. It was uh, Ruslana and Taisha. They're working incredible cool act. If you don't know them, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but you 100% know them now, after the podcast. So thank you so much. And uh, thank see you, you soon.